Hello everybody, this is Alex Bow from Engineering 100, Summer Edition 2014. I'd like to do a little bit of a walk around with our final project, the Band in the Box project, uh, that we're developing instruments for. Uh, in my case, I'm designing a, a stringed instrument, and I will show you my three designs. Over here in the top right, I have a coffee can uh, that I thought of. Uh, the idea here was to use the body of the can as a resonator so when the strings are plucked it would uh, amplify the sound a little bit. Uh, the problem I'm having with this is trying to find a, a convenient way to uh, adjust the tension and I'll show you that in just a few moments. Second design I had the mimicking some type of a harp or something where I would have a, a wooden uh, frame here with the strings going up and down. Uh, again, with the same problem of the tension on the strings without getting over complicated. And lastly here, I kind of thought of a, a slide guitar type instrument here with uh, would be a piece of wood or metal uh, with the strings attached here and you would just kind of plug accordingly to whatever you need it to do. Um, the, I've used the fundamental frequency of strings. Um, where V is uh, the, the wave speed, uh, T would be the tension, L would be the length, and mu would be the, the mass density. So let's go ahead to the shop. Let's go to the lab and I'll show you what I got going so far. This thing was kind of my first idea here. Originally what this was, was a, a radar that I built. Uh, down on the bottom here was a, an antenna and the reason I wanted to use this was to, once I played the strings, um, I wanted to hook this up to the oscilloscope and plot it out and stuff like that. But uh, my main problem is uh, being able to retain the right amount of tension on each string. And I'm using rubber bands for strings in this case. Um, so I came up with a couple other ideas. I also thought of um, using some old guitar strings which have the little beads at the end um, where I could drill a hole through the side of the, the coffee can but again I run into the same problem with tension. Um, I thought building some tuners like you would find on a guitar would be easier than, uh, than I anticipated. So these are the tuners, you would you twist these, it, it turns the, the staff here, creating t more tension on, on this string. So then I thought of, okay, let's, let's simplify. I got this box among another box. I wrapped some rubber bands around it so I could use this area here as a, a sound chamber or a resonator. So I could just Pluck it with a guitar pick, Play it kind of like guitar. Um, the only problem I'm having again is a consistency in the tension across the rubber band acting as a string. Um, I cheated a little bit where I used a, a handheld voice activated tuner um, to help me kind of intonate the instrument. So. That plays in tune with everybody else and the, the song we're practicing too. So that's it for me. Um, it's a work in progress uh, for sure. And I'm going to keep going on this thing and I'm going to send this over to Jeremy for a final conclusion. Thank you.